Let's go. Hey guys, how y'all doing? The Weirdable here. Just thought I'd show you this really, really strange glitch that I encountered whilst fighting the Griffin. Um, basically, I just fell through the floor and it transported me to the top of the map. Really, really odd. <laughs> So, after dying a few times and falling through the floor once, <laughs> I actually managed to kill the griffin. Um, this is a level 48 arch griffin. He's a pretty badass dude and he does pretty much kill me in one hit, so I had to watch out for that. Again, I'm using the Quen sign. Um, gotta, gotta love that sign, because, yeah, pretty much just makes you invincible for, uh, well, until he hits you, basically. Um, but there's a few times where I had a few lucky escapes, because... Yeah, if he knocks off my shield and then hits me, I'm pretty much dead um, if he gets me again. I think at one point you do see him actually. Like there, he actually almost got me. And that would have put me down to really low health, uh, which makes the job a whole lot more difficult. <laughs> um, like that, that's a really... Th that move that he does is just so dodgy sometimes because you don't know when he's going to do it sometimes and he'll just do it <laughs> and you'll just not be prepared for it at all. Um, he does fire out this really... Um, weird toxic uh, poison stuff which is actually to be honest doesn't really make a whole lot of difference when it hits you it like lasts for about two seconds if that um, but basically my strategy here was to only really start to attack him when you hit him with the crossbow like you saw there he'll come he'll fall to the floor and then you just hit him as many times as you can um, until he takes off your shield like there that was I don't know why I bothered to be honest actually I don't think you ever realized that he had taken off my shield um, but it's annoying obviously because you need to wait for your stamina to go back up before you can activate your your sign so I had to wait for that now you're gonna think I'm a bit of a noob for admitting this <laughs> but um, up until I think basically yesterday um, I only realized that you could hold down because I'm playing on PS4 um, if you hadn't already noticed which you probably had um, you, if you hold down like uh, square which is your sort of normal attack and obviously triangle being your heavy attack if you hold down square Garrett will do a combo of moves now I think this is actually only because I upgraded upgraded his uh, moves as you'll see here yeah he does this like sw like swinging motion above his head that's what happens when you hold it down for ages I was just tapping square <laughs> there's so much of, and it's, again with the um, triangle it's a lot slower but if you hold it down he does this like massive swing it's, it's pretty cool actually but again it's just such a weird thing that the witch does which it doesn't it hardly tells you anything like it kind of just expects you to read about it or um, sort of figure it out for yourself which I actually kind of like um, I like the learning curve in this game I like how the fighting is actually like if anyone who's played it you'll know he's actually quite slow and clunky at times so you have to be really quick you know, button movement a finger movement on the buttons and things um, you know, the, the bit where you fire the crossbow at, at the griffin when he's coming towards you. You need to kind of, so that he puts away the crossbow quickly, you have to press circle to dodge sort of out of the animation. It's really, it's kind of a, it's a weird thing to explain, but yeah, you kind of fire it at the griffin, he falls to the floor, but to make sure that you get as many hits in as you can, you have to press circle and then he'll sort of dodge out of it and then you can hold down square and attack him. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really weird thing that the witcher does and it's kind of like well this is actually probably the only bad things i've noticed about the game uh, in, in terms of controls and things is the swimming oh my god swimming sometimes is so annoying especially if you're trying to get to the surface like i know circle or um i think x on the xbox um is basically is is go to the surface but geez it's so slow sometimes and you'll be facing the wrong way and it's just it's, it's so annoying I can actually finally say that I've um, completed the Witcher now. Uh, well, the main quests anyway. I've still got a few Witcher contracts and side quests to do, but you know, the actual main story, that that is done. <laughs> um, for a while, it went on for a long time. Not that that's a bad thing, because I did actually thoroughly enjoy it. Um, it's really funny, because when you first start off, obviously, well, actually, I guess the whole the whole thing is pretty much you're looking for Siri. Um, you're just looking for someone. It's amazing how they crafted this whole story around you just, you know, searching for someone, which is pretty cool. Um, and I, and I was I, I was happy with my ending as well because I've been looking online and um, I purposely didn't go online to look at anything to do with the story because I knew 
um, that there'd be some spoiler and I'd ruin it for myself. <laughs> so I purposely didn't do that, but I went online after I'd finished it and there are some crazy different endings. I, I won't actually tell you anything now, so don't worry, don't, you know, there are no spoilers here. Um, but yeah, I'm, there were some crazy different endings to what I got. I was really happy with the ending that I got. Um, everything kind of turned out the way um, I wanted it to in my story, because essentially you're kind of, it's, it's a role-playing game, you know, you're role-playing Geralt. And um, the decisions that you make help, you know, carve out the story that you have, which is, you know, a really, really cool thing, and I love that in games. And after completing it and getting, you know, your personal ending, um, sort of thing, you do sort of realise that the characters and everyone that you meet in this world of The Witcher is so well written and thought out that it, it really adds to the to the depth of it and really makes it such a more enjoyable experience. You know, you get so many of these games, like open world games especially, so, you know, GTA and stuff like that. GTA does have some good characters, yeah, but, you know, even when it makes you do the really boring, dull tasks, at times you just kind of, you just don't really care that much. But I found myself, even on The Witcher, if it was literally go here to meet this person or, you know, and then kill these people, it would still be exciting because you'd be going to meet that person who, when you've read up about them, you know that, like, they've killed, you know, three kings and they're on the run. And, um, you know, it, just something like that just adds that extra element to it, which I think a lot of games lack these days. Um, they try and do all about, you know, fancy graphics and just sort of, well, I'm, I'm thinking about GTA again. I know I do actually really enjoy GTA. Um, I think it's sort of slipped down a bit in terms of story story-wise from GTA 4 but that's a that's another another video probably but not only does The Witcher have such a great story um, you know the developer CD Projekt Red are also releasing like 30 plus hours more of completely new gameplay and story which is amazing really I mean how many games do that I mean 30 hours that's you know, some just single stand, single player standalone games aren't that long anyway, <laughs> let alone just like DLC. Um, but apparently, the first one, Hearts of Stone, is going to be 10 plus hours, which is coming out in October, supposedly. Um, which is going to be, I, I'm not sure yet what it's going to be about. Um, but then the next one called Blood and Wine, which is supposed to come out in 2016. So, you know, early 2016. So, you know, so much to play and 30 plus hours more of The Witcher. I'll take that any day. <laughs> But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, if you liked to give it a like, if you disliked to give it a dislike, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later.